Hi everybody and welcome to Coinfinity. My name is Wesley Vanito and in this quick tip I'm going we're going to talk about mesh optimization. So when you start a 3D modeling project, the last thing you want to do is to explode your poly count. So for that you're going to have to use some quick tip, tips and tricks and uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. If for example on this plane I want to have a tiny details here. Um, I can of course subdivide it enough to be able to have the necessary amount of geometry to have the details but instead of doing that what I can do I can just select for example this two one and Add, add the same detail without having to subdivide it, the, the, the mesh that much. So of course this is a, a trick that doesn't work all the time but it's really good to, to know how it works. So let me show you that in a quick example. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create a plane and rotate it to 90 degrees. And I'm going to remove the vertices here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it a little bit up and I'm gonna create I'm gonna create a mirror modifier so I have this object so let me put this here oh, let me change it to vertex so I can snap like this so I create a subdivision because I want to add more details. Oops. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to close. I'm going to close this and I'm going to have a quick shape, a quick shape like this. Okay. So now I have this. Uh, let me apply the mirror. Put another. Oh. Okay. I have this for now. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just add three of them. Maybe it's just I need to put that straight. Okay. Okay, so now I have this one and I forgot something really important here. So I need to go back and connect this three one. Okay. So now I have this. So if I want to, for example, me extrude that once and twice but on the top of this geometry I'm not going to need to have uh, too much polygons so the way I can I can reduce them is simply by connecting some vertices like this I'm going to I'm going to connect this one and this one and I'm going to remove the unnecessary geometry I don't want and as you can see, I'm going to be able to progress like this to be able to, to reduce even more if I want to. And continue to go lower and lower and lower. So, as I said, this, this type of mesh, mesh optimization is going to be uh, uh, useful for certain type of geometry. And I will show you that in a in a quick uh, in a quick demo on the next lesson. So let me 
don't forget to uh, to put your mesh in quads. And as you can see, you, you will be able to have the, to go uh, as you progress in, in your geometry. Uh, uh, of course, in this one, I, I go backwards. I, I create uh, tons of details and reduce them. But uh, you get the, the idea. It's about uh, cre creating as, as you go the enough subdivision to be able to add the details you want and uh, keep it on top keep it on top le, le, just le enough you know geometry to, to be able to have the, the form you want so this is it uh, it was a quick tip about mesh optimization and i hope it was informative and as always if you have any question don't hesitate to contact me on instagram at uh, penfinity and uh, pen underscore affinity and on my email at info.penfinity.com so uh, at was it, I hope it was helpful and uh, see you soon.